Aloha, my name is Rina Crillo. I am a PhD candidate in the Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering program in David Christopher's lab at the University of Hawaii. My thesis work involves investigating the molecular mechanisms of how plants respond to and mitigate stress, particularly related to environmental stress such as heat, excessive heat, and drought stress. A protein known as protein disulfide isomerase 9, or PDI9, plays a critical role in this modulation and is the central focus of my research. PDIs are important players in maintaining cellular homeostasis by ensuring the proper folding of proteins under stress. Without the support, the cell can fail to keep up with the high demand uh, and lead to detrimental consequences such as cell death if this demand is not met. Uh, my, pro my project focuses on the role of PDI9 in protecting plants against this heat-induced damage, uh, restoring homeostasis, and ensuring that the stress is modulated appropriately for the survival of the plant. We recently discovered that PDI9 is involved in a very well-conserved stress signaling pathway, uh, which is required in the adaptive response to heat and drought stress. And this pathway is known as the unfolded protein response. However, there's still much of the molecular mechanisms as well as the additional players involved in this pathway that are currently unknown. And I hope to be able to work through many of these mechanisms as well as the functional roles of the players involved in this stress signaling pathway, ultimately to broaden our understanding, our, our fundamental understanding on how plants respond to as well as how they can adapt to the environmental stressors that are unfortunately threatening global food security. Given that heat and drought are the leading cause of crop loss worldwide, understanding how plants, um, understanding how these mechanisms actually occur in plants could lead to novel strategies mitigating heat and drought stress. And finally, I'd like to thank the ARCS community for this wonderful opportunity and I look forward to sharing my research with you all soon.